Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, sorry to keep you guys waiting. I know it's been a while since, you know, uh, that y'all have all been basically requesting for dinosaurs for a long while now since the ban list. And I was waiting on uh, Doka, to, my second copy of Doka to come in. And uh, I was just trying to like reinvent my strategy, trying to figure out like how I wanted to play this deck now. Um, I'm, I am playing the Extravagance build since, you know, my Synchro build is nowhere near as good anymore, even with Plague Spreader Zombie or Death Spot 1. The deck just doesn't function the way I like it, so I figured I'd just go with the Extravagance build. It's definitely a lot easier, and plus the deck is still very powerful. It's really good going first going and going second, so yeah, there's just like, even if you lost a die roll and you're forced to go second, it's still pretty good because this deck can easily OTK your opponent, and yeah. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys what I got this time around. So, starting off with the main deck, playing the, one of the most broken boss monsters, two copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, it's Book of Eclipse, and it can attack all your opponent's monsters, so yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, next, three Soul Eating Oviraptor, uh, definitely the best card in the entire deck, it searches and dumps all your dinosaur monsters, but the main card you would generally want to search out if you didn't open up with Tyranno, uh, it's going to be a miscellaneous or simply because you can still get access to Tyranno very easily with the pills. So yeah, miscellaneous source basically gives you access to your next card, uh, Animador and Archosaur. But miscellaneous source, it's great because the fact that it gives your dinosaurs protection during the main phases of the turn. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Konami decided to relimit this card or flat out ban, ban it. But even if that's going to be the case, this deck will probably still be playable, honestly, in, in my opinion, honestly. But anyway, yeah, miscellaneous source at three, I still think it's still necessary regardless. So definitely uh, make full use of it. Next up, two copies of Baby. So Baby, basically, uh, if it's popped, you know, you get to search out, well, not search out, but special summon any other dinosaur. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention about Animal Door Archosaur, if it's normal or special summon, you can pop a dinosaur except itself. And if you do, you can search out a pill. So this really goes well with the babies. So like the fact that you get the uh, mandatory special summon with baby Ceratosaurus, it's really great. You also still run the one Petit Pteranodon, but yeah, I don't run any more than those simply because they can be bricks sometimes. And I'm no longer running direct Alo simply because there's just no point anymore. Uh, next, one Giant Rex. Still really good, you know, it's a free extender and comes back if it's banished once per turn. Uh, one Panker Tops, just because, you know, it's really good for disruption and the fact that it's a free special summon when going second. You figured, why not, right? All right, so that's pretty much it for the uh, dinosaurs. I was thinking of running Qualys, but I never really see it that much. And most of the time when I do see it, I can't really do anything with it, so who knows, uh, maybe one day I'll bring Quatlas back into the main deck, but for right now, you really don't need Quatlas all that much this format, so yeah, that's just it. Uh, moving on to Hand Traps already, three Nibiru, you know, pretty good going second. Uh, three Ash Blossom, you could either run this or draw a Lockbird in the main deck. Uh, Ash is still really good because, you know, if you know what to hit during uh, during this format, it can really come in clutch, plus, plus against the Mirror Matches. Uh, since Extravagance is going to be one of the biggest cards this format, you definitely want to hit that as soon as possible. So, And it's not just specific for Dinosaurs. It could be for any like rogue tier strategy like Guru, Alter Guys. You know, they run Extravagance, so you definitely want to be prepared for that. Uh, next up, running the uh, the Cypher Gear Gammas plus uh, the One Driver. So basically the One Garnet. But honestly, I, it's not hard to deal with this. And the fact that it's uh, super good this format, yeah, you can definitely go far with this card. Uh... And last but not least, the only trap cards in my deck is uh, Infinite Impermanence. If you don't have access, access to this, you could run the Gizmic Uka tech, uh, but you're going to have to run the additional Barrier Statue. Or you can run Effect Veiler or even Ghost Ogre. Uh, both those cards are really good. I heard Ghost Bell is actually uh, making a rise this format too, so try a Ghost Bell. See what you guys think. And yeah, like I said, if you don't have Impermanence, there's other budget options you can go with. All right, so that's pretty much it for those. Now we're moving on to Spells. Uh, my spell count is not too high, so, and honestly, I'm not really regretting it. Of course, you got to play three copies of Pot of Extravagance. This card is so much cheaper now, so I would try to get your copies as soon as possible while the while they're while the prices are still good. Three Fossil Dig, uh, three Lost World. This card is pretty broken, actually. I mean, I've already explained what this card does, so I'm not going to go into full detail. So yeah, one Terraforming, and last but not least. Two copies of Double Evolution Pill. Archosaur basically searches this out for free. That's why I'm not really running Quatlets anymore, because Quatlets, all you really do is just dump it to get it, but now you don't really need it anymore. Again, if you still want to run Quatlets for the Spell and Trap Card Negation, you could, but it's really up to you. Well, that's pretty much it for the main deck. That's 40 cards. Oops. And now we're moving on to the uh, extra deck. So the extra deck I had to shift around quite a bit, but it's still pretty good. 
Uh, starting off with the Xyz monsters. Actually, I'm running two copies of Doka. It should be three, but honestly, I think two is just fine. Uh, especially because like most of the time, I always, I'm always left with just one anyway with the uh, extravagance. And even if you don't open up with that extravagance, you can always make like multiples of these. And it's a negation effect is not once per turn. I'm actually running two Dwellers simply because Dweller is just really good this format. It was either this or two Lagia. I think Dweller was just a better choice. Speaking of which, uh, one Lagia and Tornado Dragon because dinosaurs hard lose to uh, back row decks. They really do. So I just need any spell and trap card um, removal that I can. So yeah, Tornado Dragon was definitely a pretty good option. One Cypher and Lord Omega, you know, just to rip cards out of your opponent's hand and to so that way you can keep your driver uh, from banishing itself. And that's it for those. Now moving on to the Link monsters. Uh, for Links, I'm running two copies of Link Rebo. Uh, it it actually helps keep my uh, double evolution pill alive. Uh, one Secure Guard. Now, I was thinking of running this at two. I probably still will if I decide to remove one of these other cards. But for right now, one Secure Garner is working for me. Uh, one Cypher and Lord Lambda. So, like, if one of my uh, Gear Gamas gets banished, I could at least search out a new one uh, at the end of the turn. Or if you banish the Cypher and Lord Omega, you could do the same thing with Lambda. And plus, even as long as this card stays on the field, you can activate Cypher from Gear Gamma from your hand, as long as, even if you have monsters out on the field. Uh, one Pentastag to give Tyranno piercing damage if I choose not to use the effect. I'm also running a couple Nightmares, Phoenix, Unicorn. Pretty standard. As for a Link 4, um, I've decided to go with Axis Kotaker. Um, not really required. You could actually run Avermax if you prefer, or you could run a Borlo Dragon, you know, whatever it suits you really. Uh, but yeah, I definitely uh, thought Axis Co was pretty good. And plus, Axis Co can actually run over a um, Dragoon pretty, pretty easily too. So yeah, like I figured this was a pretty good option. And plus, uh, since um, effects can't be activated in response to Axis Co's effects, I figured, you know what, this is be a pretty good matchup against the Dragoon. So yeah. All right, so that's it for the extra deck. Now moving on to the side deck. Uh, side deck's got some pretty good spice. I'm actually running Drone Lockbird on the side. If Ash Blossom doesn't really cut it, or Nibiru for that matter, sometimes I'll go with Drone Lockbird. Or sometimes uh, Impermis doesn't even cut it half the time, so like some decks know how to play around those. So, But again, if it's mostly gonna be Ash. It's gonna be the one I'll probably side out the most frequently when it comes to using this card. Like against Infernoble Knights, uh, Drone Lockbird is definitely the better pick. Uh, I think this, this is actually pretty good against Dragon Link, too. So this mainly, yeah, specific for those kind of matchups. Uh, against the Mirror Match, I actually like to use Chaos Hunter because since Chaos Hunter uh, only affects your opponent rather than... Whereas Lancia kind of affects both players, I think Chaos Hunter can definitely uh, do the trick more because this, as soon as your opponent special summons a monster, you can s discard a card, slap this down, and your opponent's pretty much screwed. Again, it's only for the mirror match, simply because they can't even attempt to bring out Tyranno if they special summon one monster. So, yeah, with Chaos Hunter, that becomes a big problem. So, yeah, it it's definitely good. Uh, for more back removal, I'm doing double Twin Twisters, or you can go Cosmic Cyclone. It doesn't really matter which one. I prefer these, personally. And one Harpy's Feather Duster. I'm also running Survivals, and Survivals in is super good this format, against, especially against Dragon Link. Uh, if they bring out those uh, Link Cross tokens, boom, you're you're pretty much golden right there. And three copies of Rivalry of the Warlords. Definitely a great floodgate for this format and for this deck too, because the whole deck is mainly pure dino, and you're mostly going to be playing your main deck. You're very rarely going to use your extra deck much, especially because of the extravagance. But if you do, you know, more power to you, you know. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys again next time.